Register now for the most comprehensive live RPVI review available. Gulf Coast Ultrasound has 30 years of experience providing ultrasound registry reviews. Our participants have enjoyed a 95% pass rate. This vascular interpretation review features 24 dedicated teaching hours with expert instructors presenting over 100 interactive cases with case log for hospital credentialing and lab accreditation purposes. Interactive mock exams are given using the latest technology with our audience response system. Bonus post-course material will be made available to participants to reinforce learning. If you can't make it to beautiful St. Pete Beach, Florida, we are also offering this course as a live HD video streamed webinar. Take a moment to watch a case presented by Marsha Neumeyer. You have a 57-year-old male bilateral carotid brewies, lots of risk factors here. Remember how to read a waveform. Here's the proximal left common carotid artery. Over here is the waveform from the distal common carotid artery. So you need to ask yourself, is this what I would expect? Is there anything wrong? Is anything standing out here that isn't quite right? And if so, what's not right? So what are these images suggesting to you? Good. Over here, I don't see low diastolic flow. I'm not seeing the quality of diastolic runoff that I'm seeing here in the proximal, but I do see diastolic flow. I don't see diastolic flow to zero on all the waveforms or low diastolic flow. So not our best choice. What I am seeing over here is evidence that I've got some delay in upstroke compared to over here. The reason for that is the stenosis that lies between our proximal sample site and our distal sample site. So we've got luminal reduction here and we've got alias signal, we've got stenosis there and that's causing the problem. So here's our stenosis and our disordered flow.